Hey guys, it's Fana here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make crayon candles. Yes, I say crayon. I know there's a line of O in it, but I say crayon, not crayon. It just takes too long to say. Anyway, they're pretty easy to make, and they just take a bit of time because the wax has to melt and everything. And as always, please remember to have a family member nearby because although we're just using the microwave, the wax and the cups can be pretty hot when you take it out of the microwave. So if you have some gloves or if you have a parent helping you to do so, I suggest that. And hope you enjoy! Okay, so we'll be starting with the materials that you need. You need a glass jar, any jar will do, old pasta sauce jar, mason jar, whatever works. I had a mason jar, so I use that, but it's important that it's glass, though. You need a lot of crayons. I use 14, but I think even more would work better. And I separated them into their colors so the candle could be layered in the end. A couple white crayons to do for the wick. Lots of paper cups. I use a paper cup for each colored layer, and it's important to have paper, not plastic, because the plastic will melt in the microwave. Um... I used wooden skewers to stir the wax. That's not in the picture, but I used them. And you're going to need some string for the wick, or if you have wick lying around, that's great too. You need tape, glue, a tweezer, and this part is optional, but I used some old candles that we had in the house for it to smell a little better, but if you have essential order oils, that would work too. Once you have all your materials, you're going to start removing the paper off the crayons and breaking them up into their respective cups. If you have any old candles, this will be the time to break them up and put it into a cup that matches its color. But if it's a white candle, then you can break that candle and put it in any cup you want. After breaking up all the crayons, it's time to temper your wick. Break up one to two white crayons and microwave it for two to three minutes or until it's melted. While it's in the microwave, cut up some string in a length a little longer than your jar. When the crayons are melted, put the string into the cup and mix it around until it's fully coated in the wax. Use a tweezer to take out the string and put it on a plate to dry. When the wick is dry, put some glue at the bottom of your jar and put the homemade wick in the jar with the end folded. I had some trouble with it staying up even as it was folded, so I put some tape at the top of the wick to help. Alrighty, now it's time to actually start making the candle. The steps are the same for each colored layer. So first, you're going to put the crayons in the microwave for two to three minutes. And after microwaving for two minutes, you can take it out and mix it with a skewer. And if it needs more time, you can put it back into the microwave. I found that it usually took three minutes, but it varies depending on how many crayons you have and how much wax you have in each cup. When it looks all melted, stir it once more and pour it into the jar. Try to do this quickly because the wax does dry fast after pouring it in you can mix it around the jar so it makes an even layer now the wax has to dry and this can take around 15 to 20 minutes and i am impatient so i put the jar in the fridge to quicken up this process for the other layers you basically just repeat this process and that's it that's your candle so in the end, you'll have a layered candle and it will light and hopefully it will stay for a long time. And if it doesn't, doesn't, I'm sorry, but I hope you had fun. Bye.